So in this video, we'll be doing how to utilize this Windows API using the C sharp. So in this video, we'll be using this uh, message box W function to uh, generate a graphical user interface uh, message box small pop up. So before that, I will be talking about the data types. So here you can see unmanaged type in Windows APIs uh, and unmanaged C language type. If you are running C, you need to use these uh, data types. But C sharp is managed uh, code. Be that means uh, this C sharp code is controlled and managed by CLR. So if you if there is no CLR on this system, there is no .NET installed. You can't run these uh, C sharp binaries. So you need to have this uh, CLR loaded to load our to run our binaries. So in order to access these uh, functions, you need to uh, uh, import this DLL files. So if you go down to this function, you will see the uh, user 32 dot DLL. So this uh, function message box W resides in this uh, DLL. So DLLs are exactly same like executables, but we cannot execute them. We can only load functions from this. So many uh, processes use these DLLs. So the advantage of DLLs is uh, many processes can access the functions in the one DLL without having the multiple number of copies. So uh, I have 10 processes accessing this message box W function without having 10 DLL files. So one DLL can uh, serve these functions for many processes. So that is the advantage of this DLL files. So here you can see the manager type in the C sharp for void is issue not void. And here you can see int, int pointer and byte in in 16 etc so here you can see all of these uh, managed data types so one thing you need to notice is message box w w stands for a uh, white character for the unicode and here you can also see message box a that is for ascii string so you need to pass uh, the strings as a unicode once We need to import a namespace called system dot runtime dot interrupt services. From this, we need to import the functions from this DLL. So before that, in the in my class, I can say brackets DLL import. I need to specify the DLL name. You can also specify the uh, actual path, but uh, already this uh, path will be. Uh, Search it automatically. I can just say user 32 dot DLL and below this, what we need to do is we need to define our function and public static extern message box W. So we are using extern, so indicates that this is an outside function and this function does not have any uh, knowledge about this our program class. So it has a return type that is integer. So message box W. So I am making in this uh, like a, uh, multiple lines because there will be some functions that require more than five or six parameters in that you cannot write in single line. So the first uh, parameter is handle. So, and also here you can see HWND that is the graphical user interface, interface handle. Uh, when you are developing the uh, GUI windows applications, uh, there will be some uh, main uh, window. And if you want to pop up a message box, you can pass that handle to this uh, message box. Here you can see handle to the owner of window of the message box to be created. If this parameter is null, the message box has no owner window. So we will be passing null for this because we are simply popping up the message box and we do not have any uh, parent graphical user interface windows. So first one should be null and in null, null means uh, void. So system dot void. So actually void you can pass any object type. Uh, you can pass any object type uh, with uninitialized data. So that will be treated as null. But what we are going to do is we are going to say int pointer. Int pointer 
this handle so we have something uh, this uh, member of the structure int pointer dot zero which specifies the null so we'll be using that int pointer dot zero so next one is long pointer to constant wide cache string so lp stands for long pointer c stands for constant so it does not really uh, not a data type constant means the value does not change and this uh, wide cache string so we can what we can do is we can say param marshall as so we'll be using this marshall as and unmanaged type dot so if you press unmanaged type dot and here you can see the list of uh, these managed types that can the CLR can convert to so here you can see lp wstr we can also see some other data types as well so you can also see un, uh, unsigned integers and structures and arrays and bool as well so we'll be using uh, long pointer to wide cache string now what we can do is we can simply say string and copy this lp text so we are just putting the this marshall as and manage type dot wrong pointer wide cache string before this string lp text so the next parameter is also the same so this text will be shown on the uh, message box and this caption is the title so we can simply copy this one and we can simply say string lb caption and the last one is uh, the type of the message box so we'll be having some options that is uh, unsigned integer and also here you can see if you pass this number based upon the number the message box differs so you will have the uh, ok button ok cancel button and so on etc so the type is unsigned integer uh, we can say uint 32 u type okay my function is ready i can now just simply say message box w of so the first one is int pointer dot dot zero that is the null and second one is se second next two parameters are the strings i want to say hello world and the next one is this is window title and the last one is type of the message box you want to display i want to just simply say okay that is uh, zero long so you can just simply say zero and the return type is uh, integer and here you can also see the return type information return value if the message box has cancel button the function returns id cancel if it is sucks if the function fails the return value is zero if the function exceeds written value is one of the following menu item values okay let's say uh, int result now before uh, executing we can say console dot read key so let's debug and run this one and here you can see we got this message box onto the screen now click on ok and now this is uh, the, the program is waiting for the user input and then if I type if I press any key it stops so we can say press any key to continue so let me uh, delete this one and change the message box type uh, let's say yes no let's say 4 and run this and here you can see there is no there is this uh, yes and no uh, options available so this is about how you use this windows api uh, also we'll be using uh, we'll be seeing another function that is get net users 
function so get net uh, so get username so we'll be using uh, we'll be seeing the net share net uh, user enum in the next videos and also this net share enum so get username w so if i type who am i we will get this target as the username so we'll be getting the output from this function and this function is in the advanced api 32.dll so we'll be you can create a new project let's just include here and another thing is we can also define the character set here so i can say char set is equals to character set dot unicode so now you can see the values unicode nc and auto so if i say unicode by default this uh, function will be treated as a unicode now let's go and delete this w and also comment this one and now let's go and delete this w now build this and run this one so it will uh, by default will be treated as a unicode function okay coming back let's import this dll and public static extern and the return type is boolean so boolean is uh, yes or no let's say bool get username username w so the first parameter is uh, out parameter so here you can see the out and in so out is uh, the output parameter so the function processes something does its function and things and after uh, before exiting the function uh, it will write the output to this uh, parameter specified and here you can also see in the message box there is this in so in means we need to give these parameters uh, like uh, compulsory here you can also see optional so that means you can just uh, leave them you can only pass this one so that means the last parameter which is message box type is uh, not an optional and it's compulsory for this message box w to display and now here you can see uh, the output parameter and in and out so this means uh, we need to pass this as a reference because it's taking the input uh, from this one and also it should write to the output so the first one is uh, buffer normal uh, we will be using the string builder for this other than string and the username of this machine gets into this uh, buffer a pointer to receive the buffer user logon's name so let's say param marshall as and manage type dot so we can say string builder sb not sb and the next one is uh, the number of bytes uh, this uh, array can store and also in the output it shows the length of the username so we need to pass this as reference u in 32 and pc buffer so we are good to go to use this function so let me comment out these lines now what we are going to do is copy this so bool result is equals to get username w of so the first one is string builder 
we need to create a string builder object sb is equals to new string builder of so we need to create uh, let's say 100 of uh, this uh, 100 of memory space to store so we can just say sb comma and we need to create an integer to specify this uh, number of bytes it can show so we can say u int 32 uh, size is equal to 0 so for now it should be 0 and we will be passing reference size so we are good to go now after getting the result we need to print this sp dot to string Now let's go and build the solution. I hope everything is fine. So let's run this. So we do not get any output. So let's see where we did this wrong. A pointer to the buffer to receive the user's log on them. I think we are Converting, converting this as a wrong let's say a string Okay, my bad. What we are going to do is, uh, sorry, I need to. Spe I did not specify this uh, as a hundred, so that's why it is giving the error. Sorry for that. Now let's go and run this one. And now you can see the output test target. So sorry for this. I thought, uh, I thought it as only out parameter. I did not. Uh, I forgot this in. So here you can see uh, you you don't need to worry about the uh, this uh, string here because we are passing the string builder. So string builder is a mutable type uh, while the string is immutable. So it it uh, it always uh, better to use uh, string buffer string builder for these uh, out parameters and for the in parameters you can normally use uh, normal strings. So that's all for this video about covering the basics of how to use Windows API using the C Sharp.